Hi, my name is Anieti Etu, and welcome to the second part of our data cleaning challenge. In the first part, we got the data and we were able to clean it. Now, in this second part, we want to model it, analyze it, and create some visuals. In the third part, we'll look at creating a dashboard with it. If you have not seen part one of this video, which is the data cleaning part, I suggest you get that part so that you can be up to speed with where we are now. So with this particular data, we want to answer some key questions. For example, who should be fired and who should be appointed as the overall sales manager? To analyze this data, we need to create a data model. And one of the tools in Excel that we can use to create a data model is a pivot table. So select any of the data points in the table and go to insert and select pivot table. We want to create this model this pivot table on a new sheet. So just click on OK. Now to bring you to this point in your pivot table, the pivot table is more like an organized set, a subset of the entire table. Now in pivot table, you have four options. You can put things in the columns and in the rows and numbers or things you want to count, you put them in values. One of the ways to recommend who should be appointed as the overall sales manager is to check on the performance of the staff in each of the regions. We need staff as one of the items we want to assess and we also need the regions which is the geography so we can bring this up to the columns part and we want to check the performance of each of the staff in each region by clicking the amount it will give us this format now you can also create this using the vlookup h lookup and the x lookup but we're using pivot table to make the work faster and easier so the first thing we'll do, we want to format this to currency. Then we can sort this from highest to lowest. Interestingly, we have Callan McAfee as the best performing, followed by Rudy. If we want to format this also, sort this from largest to smallest. We can see that New Zealand is the best performing location followed by India, UK and others. Now what we have just done, we have just created a model, number one, two, we have analyzed the data, three, let's create a visual. Select on any of the data points. For some systems, you will see pivot chart analyze or you will just see analyze. Click on analyze and go to pivot charts and it will give you this particular pivot chart. Let's say we click on bar clustered bar charts and we say, okay, to make the presentation a little bit interesting, we don't need to see for everybody. So what we can simply do is to sort for the top five persons. So how to get here, click on the row labels, click on the value filter, and then say top five. So reduce this to five and then say, okay. So in this case, we have the top five persons. And to make this a little bit better, right click on this and say hide all fields. We have this showing each of the staff and their performance. And if you want to change the chart, so you click simply click, click on design and use change charts. So we can change instead and use a clustered column chart. For our recommendation to the company, we recommend these five persons. One is Kale, the second one is Rodi. Three is William, Gigi, and Dotty. If you look further, you can see that Kalen is the best performing staff in UK and in India. Rodi is the best performing staff in New Zealand and in Canada. What's the name? Gigi is the best performing staff in USA and Dotty is the best performing staff in Australia. But overall, we recommend Kalen. To quickly answer the question for the least performing staff, click on the data points, Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy, come down somewhere and then simply paste. Create a chart for this. We'll maintain the same clustered. We'll create for the list five. So first clear all. Then, so we have top five. This time we'll say bottom. So just say bottom five. 
and we click OK. So now in this particular case, we are seeing the least five persons in the team. So the persons who recommend to be dropped, we have we're seeing Oga, Curtis, Jane, Brian, and Mane. We rename this worksheet as best performing staff. Now let's go to question number two. Which region or country should they set up a second branch? We can get this by looking at which of the regions we have the highest sale. Create another data model. So click on any data points, insert and go to pivot table and simply say OK. Rename this one to best region. In this case, we pick up the geography, which is the difference points and then we select the amount so what we have just done we have created a data model so let's format it use currency no decimal then quickly we analyze it so we can do this we sort it from the largest to the smallest and we will recommend that okay if the company wants to expand these are the areas to focus on now to represent this in a chart to visualize this we can use a Pie chart would have been okay, but looking at this, you can't really tell what is happening, the difference between the data points. So we will not use a pie chart. Instead, we'll use a column chart. Idle fields, remove all these points, remove this one, and remove this point. So we have New Zealand as the answer to the second question. Now the third one is, if the company wants to increase production, which products would you recommend and why? We go back to our data and we create a data model using the pivot table. For each product, we want to check the income generated from that particular product. So format this using currency. Okay, the quick analysis will give us this product and we can represent this using A chart similar to this we can just recommend the top five products okay so these are the top five products we want to recommend to the company to pay attention to so with respect to sales recommend these products to we'll see the best five products then we we'll also look at the best five products per quantity sold so in this case we're using products against the quantity sold so simply sort this from largest to smallest and then format it. Good. Then we can also check for the best, the top five from here also. We can represent this. Let's see what a pie chart will look like. Okay, still the same, the difference is not much. So we'll take a pie chart. products with respect to quantity the next question says which month has the highest highest sale what is the total sales in 2021 and in 2022 so we can get the best months using the date and the amount column. Click on the date and we click on the amount. And we can format it. Okay, so the total sales in 2021 
18, 18 million and the total sales in 2022 is 3 million. We can investigate further to see why is this. Okay, so in 2022, we just have one quarter, but in 2021, we have about four quarters. And if we want to check further for the best selling months in each of these, I'll quickly look at this in the charts. So, which month so far has the highest sales? Presently, it's January 2022. That's the month with the highest sales. Okay, we can change the charts to use a line graph, a line graph with points. And we can um, we can edit it further to have this point here. Okay, the next question says total number of white chalk boxes sold in 2022. So in this particular case, we use the product, we use the date, and we use the boxes. And I'll also introduce us to what is called slicers. So click on insert. First, let's create the model for each of the products. We we'll check the number of boxes sold. So we can sort format this number format with 1000 separator. Then we introduce what is called a timeline. Since we're working with dates, so I click on the timeline to bring in a date. We have the date as a timeline. Then we also bring in a slicer. So let me insert a slicer and I have just the products. In this case, we're looking for a product called white chalk. So I need only white chalk. So total white chalk sold within the period is 87,234. But we need for only 2022. So I click on the timeline and I set it to years. You can set it to quarter, you can set it to months, you can set it to days. In this case, the question says 2022, so just click on 2022 and the total number of white jobs sold in, in 2022 is 17,425. Then the final question is, who sold the highest number of Manuka Honichuko in Australia in 2021? Now you want to work with the salesperson, you want to work with the location, you want to work with the products and the date and the amounts, lots of dates and boxes. Okay, interesting. Let's go create the data model first. Now, who sold? So we want to look at the salesperson and we want to look at the product. So that's the number of boxes. Okay, since you're talking about the products, so I shift the product up and the salesperson down. And Manuka Honey Choco. So we're looking for a product called Manuka Honey Choco. So just search for and check all first. Then we want to search for Manuka. Manuka Honey Choco. Good. So we'll select only Manuka Honey Choco. And then click OK. OK, so we have only Manuka Honey Choco. We can fill we can format it to numbers. And we can sort from highest to lowest. Okay, so the question again, who sold the highest number of Manuka Choco in Australia in 2021? The total number of Manuka Choco sold throughout the period is 39,124 and the highest selling person is Madeline and that. But the question said in 20 in Australia. So we need to bring geography to give us the different locations. So we're looking for Australia only. The final part of the question specified that it's in 2021. So we'll bring up another timeline slicer, date, and this time we'll look at the months and we'll put it at years and say 2021. So the answer is Ghana cock shot. With this simple model, I've showed us how to model data, how to analyze data, how to visualize data. In the final part of the series, I'll show us how to create a dashboard using these different bits of information. 
I'll see you in the next class.